Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm here to talk about one type of visa which many people have been asking me a lot of times. What we call K1 visa, fiancé or fiancé visa. Uh, what are the requirements for someone to be in a position to apply for this type of visa? What are the restrictions of this visa? And if you go and apply and get this fiancé visa, once you arrive in America, will you be allowed to work right away? That is one of the questions. Or if you are going to get married to someone, that someone, uh, you are the one coming from abroad to America, uh, and maybe what if you have a child? Will the child be allowed to accompany you to come with you? Uh, so, there are so many questions overall about the K1 visa or K2 for dependence of the K1. Uh, but I want to break down to you so that if you are in the position to apply for this K1 visa or fiancé visa, you are not going to be denied because there are so many restrictions uh, with regard to this type of visa in general. But overall, because they know for sure, once you get this visa and you get married, you are going to be given green card. And there are videos, uh, I've, I'll put the link here, I've talked about a green card by marriage and the, the bona fide marriage on how you can be able to prove that your marriage is legit, is not uh, uh, immigration fraud. So the same way, the same reason, you have to prove that the you are fiancé, you are planning, this is a real fiancé, and you are planning to get married, uh, not for the matter of the immigration benefit of becoming green card holder, that is not the reason. So that's why there are so many restrictions, and I'd like to explain to you those kind of restrictions, so that you cannot be denied, and then you are going to be in trouble. Welcome, welcome everyone, this is EBM Elness Boniface Makulilo, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel here. In case today you are coming here for the first time, I would like you to come here and subscribe. You can see that uh, there is a, a red button at here. Just click there to take you to subscribe. And there is a notification bell. You have to ring that bell so that you can get all the notification when I'm posting the videos. But overall, don't forget to share these videos to your friends and colleagues. Even if the video is not typical benefiting you, you can post on social media so that other people can be able to subscribe or benefit from the information I'm going to share. So without further ado, let's go. Go to the particular topic of the day k visa or fiance fiance visa so this is also a non-immigrant visa usually there is immigrant visa and non-immigrant visa so this is a non-immigrant visa but usually when we say non-immigrant visa is a visa you come to the u.s on temporary basis but this one is a little bit different you come on temporary basis for the condition of getting married so this visa duration is maximum six months one uh, single entry is not multiple entry it's not like a tourism or other type of visas you get multiple entry no that's number one you have to know is single entry maximum six months but you as your fiance uh, the person who is going to make sure that is going to sponsor you to petition for you to be given that visa must be a u.s citizen so a u.s citizen who is your fiance or fiance fiance whatever those english words they confuse sometimes but whatever it is must file here in the u.s first of all the one who is the american citizen must apply to the department of state which they call alien petition for for fiance, for fiance to prove that this is your fiance just like if you are married to american citizen here there is a form you feel is called american citizen has to fill they call alien petition uh to prove that is your relative which is i-130 so for the fiance visa there is another form you have to prove that this is is, is your fiance 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 you have to prove that so there are documents you have to show you have to prove your relationship is legit just like how you prove it was a bona fide marriage, here you have to prove that this is a bona fide relationship. This relationship is not mainly just for someone to come here and be given the immigration benefit of becoming a green card holder. And in order to prove that, you have to show one among the most important requirements is you have met in person 
within the last two years, at least once you have met in person. This means like if you have met someone online and you started dating someone online for after one year, don't just oh um, get, give me the visa, I'm coming here for fiance visa, and then I'm getting married to you. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to prove the relationship and possible within two years of if you have been for a relationship for more than two years, obviously. You have to prove that you have met at least once. The only exception is if there are extremely situations of religious belief you are not allowed to meet in person. You have to document those kind of situation. That means you cannot be able to meet in person before you get married. Or there are certain other circumstances which have prevented you, which are very extreme. Not, oh, I, I cannot have money for getting the ticket. No, that is not the reason. That's number one. So you have to make sure that you have met in person. This means, if they say within two years, they don't mean that you must be in relationship within two years. But basically, you cannot just meet someone within one week. Next week, you are going to get married. Okay, these are the documents for fiancé visa and come to America. Obviously, they, they believe that someone, will, this is uh, something smells fishy on this kind of situation. So, in order to avoid that, there is a form I'm going to read here. There is a form is called I-129F, which is petition for alien fiancé or fiancé. This one is the, uh, when you attempt to get the immigration visa, uh, which is a uh, K-1 visa, non-immigrant visa, uh, fiancé visa. In order to get this one, you have to fill this form and then send this form to the National Visa Center which is owned by the Department of State, which is uh, National Visa Center, NVC, the National Visa Center, will are going to, you are going to send the application, this petition, 129F, I, 129F, you are sent it to the uh, USCIS, to the Center for the National Visa Center, you are sending that one along with the documents, we met it together, these are the pictures, we have been dating for maybe a year and a half, or for two years, or three years, these are the documents, these are correspondences, these are whatever, so there are so many things you have to submit, then they will look like, okay, this look legit. They will approve that one. If they approve, that means you take the approval, then you are going to apply for the visa. And while you are applying for the approval and for the visa, there is one, the thing I've been talking about, which is we call the uh, marriage license. Marriage license is the document which gives you permission to get married. So usually the marriage license uh, is valid for 90 days whether you are american 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 other person you must get married within 90 days so you go to the county court that i want to get married so and so these are the information so you are given the marriage license and permission to go and get married within 90 days so if you don't get married within 90 days that marriage license expires so how does that apply to the k1 visa how does it apply to the fiance visa so if you are approved and you have the, 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 the what, what we call the, uh, the marriage license, that basically the time will be ticking. You have 90 days, you must get married. So the day of approval, you, once you come here in America, you must get married within 90 days. Or the 90 days of the date of the, the marriage license. If you don't get married within 90 days and it goes expired, that means you must get out of America. If you continue to stay here, basically, you'll be violating the immigration status you have. But you can get married after 90 days, but there will be another process. That is a different process. I'm not going to explain it here. But basically, to be in a safe side, you must get married within 90 days. Because once it expires, that is a different ball game. So that is one thing you need to know. Secondly, so if the person who is a, a, a foreign foreigner, a foreign national, is having a child, and the child is under the age of 21, unmarried, under the age of 21, unmarried, you can come with your child, and that child will be given what we call K2 visa, dependent of K1. And once you are here, once you get married, then you are going to do the adjustment of status. You are going to fill the form I-485 adjustment of status. While you are filling that one, also, 
your child who is uh, under the age of 21 and married and who is the beneficial who came to the United States with K2 visa will also be allowed to do adjustment of status and be also given the green card. So that is the little process. So number one, you have to prove this is the bona fide relationship and you have met at least once in the past two years in person unless others you have so many strong reasons why you haven't met. So no matter how long relationship you have online, either the person has to come to your account or you have to come here, no more visiting, whatever, you make, make sure you have, you have met before. And you must get married within 90 days. After getting married, you are going to be able to process what we call the adjustment of status. But the first day you arrive in America, you are allowed under K-1 visa. You are allowed, you are, the person who are going to get married to is allowed to help you to process to get the work permit you are going to apply uh, the work authorization uh, you're going to fill the work authorization form and you'll be able to be given the work uh, authorization to continue to work in the u.s while you are waiting for your green card so i can read if you want a few things uh, so eligibility quick way eligibility for the vnc visa so the person who is eligible to bring someone first of all must be a u.s citizen american so if you are green card holder you cannot uh, bring someone under the fiancé visa because the person in green card you are not uh, the spouse of green card holder is not the main preference secondly you and your fiancé 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 must have intention of getting married within 90 days i've been talking about that uh you and your fiancé 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 are both legally uh, free to marry uh that means you are not married to another person at that time uh, and you and your fiance, fiance, fiance met each uh, each other in person at least once within the two year period before you file for the petition. You may request a waiver for this petition for this in in person meeting requirement if you can show that the meeting uh, in person uh, will never be able to be happening because the, it it is going to violate a very strict and long established customs of fiance foreign culture or social practice or it is a result of extreme hardship to you the united united u.s citizen who is a petitioner so basically we are going to fill the form uh i-129 129f the alien petition for fiance fiance uh then we fill that one the department of state the national visa center is going to review that one if they review the, the and the request the document you submitted they will mail you the uh, you are going to mail the evidence then they will say you we have approved or not if they haven't approved you can create you can create another application later uh and then you are going to submit but if they approve that means you can go ahead and go to the u.s embassy to submit uh the visa form and go for the visa interview as normal and then you come here once you come here you must get married within 90 days after getting married within the 90 days then you have to file for adjustment of status and while you are doing that way you have also to apply for the work authorization while you are while you are waiting for the process of everything to be approved so those are the process of the fiance visa which people have been asking me to talk about it and just to, to add something on that currently we have what we call the immigration suspension uh due to the coronavirus there have been so many type of visas like h1 visa we have seen uh uh, J1 visa, J visas, some of the J visas, uh, some of the, I mean, green card, most of the green card visas have been suspended until the end of December. But all those type of visas, uh, it doesn't affect K1 visa or K2 visa. Uh, the uh, fiancé, fiancé visas have never, have not been suspended. So you can be able to process that one. Student visas or green card by marriage, you are allowed to process. Those have not, have never been affected by the, uh, the uh, presidential proclamation which was released on june 22nd to increase to extend the suspension until december 31st of the year 2020 so if you have fiance and you want someone to come here you can process without any particular problem and if you have any question you want to ask or you know you can put it in the comment below uh, remember to like the video and share the video with your friends so thank you so much everyone for your continued support of my youtube channel and all the best everyone